Hello and welcome for a new Vintage Chronicle. Today we will talk about the X-Wing fighter model made by Palitoy and the one made by Kenner. But above all, I would like you to subscribe to my channel by clicking to the bottom right here. It will allow me to give you more information about Vintage Star Wars toy. So, from both sides of the Atlantic, the spaceship is not the same and we are going to describe it right now. Both spaceships came with a unique packaging. The only common description is the Star Wars logo with Luke and Leia drawing on the left side of the logo itself. Designed with a star space background on a real sand, Palitoy model comes without light and sound electronic system compared to the Kenner one. Boxes are similar size and shows iconic Rebel fighters function and accessories on packaging sides. Palitoy used one of the sides to display five action figures from the first list of 12 and on the opposite side a picture of Luke inside X-Wing fighter. Kerner version shows a red background with a light and sound X-Wing fighter and Luke inside fighter cockpit. Box sides show Luke's spaceship function and accessory plus a large picture with action figures looking at fighter and its pilot. Both starting their career back in 1978, the question is why two different spaceships between America and Europe? Compared to Palitoy's playset like Land of the Jawas, Droid Factory or Creatures Cantina, the UK version was the one sell all over Europe. But the funny thing is the Kenner version was also available in France from 1980 to 1982. And as cost production was always on target, Subdivision, European subdivision decided to carry on making the UK one as the main model until 1985, changing the name as Battle Damage X-Wing Fighter, adding a stick Battle Damage stickers and changing packaging. Kenner's blueprint allows Pelletoy to build its own plastic injection molds in England without electronic equipment. Central engine is represented by a sticker. There is no electronic switch at tip of the plane and front part is cast in one single part compared to the Kenner model. You can see a slight sculpt different on the rear top of the spaceship as it was modified from original Kenner blueprint and comes with an R2-D2 chrome dome who looks like more the action figures sold separately. Treadwig's mechanism is based on Kenner model without engineering modification. To spread the wings in X mode, push down on R2-D2's chrome head. To bring wings back to original position, push white center bottom behind droid. Open cockpit canopy by pulling up the front part to access cockpit seat. Front landing skid pulls down and push back up out of sight. Kana model comes with an electronic light and sound system. This electronic device works with two AA batteries placed at top of the plane below battery's door. A small engine inside the body plane and one red LED at the front recreate the laser light and sound. To spread the wings in X mode, push down on R2-D2's head, not chromed on the kernel one. To bring wings back to original position, push blue center bottom behind R2. Compared to British model, central rear engine is a real sculpt and front spaceships is divided in two pieces. Like the Palitoy fighter, Cockpit canopy pops up when you pull out on the front part. Then you can place a figure into the pilot seat inside spaceship. Front landing skid pulls down and pushes back up out of sight. X-Wing fighter is the first mass production item and Luke Skywalker's spaceship should be as much as possible close to the model from Cincinnati. Without light and sound system but still the same shape, Palitoy X-Wing comes with R2-D2 chrome dome not available with a Kenner X-Wing fighter. Kenner model comes with a thicker plastic shape and Palitoy X-Wing will remain the main references in Europe until the end of the toy line in 1985. I hope this review was an interest to you. Feel free to leave any comment, they are always welcome. Put a thumb up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And see you soon for a new Chronic Vintage.